Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share one skill that made my life in America easier. So that one skill that I practice every day is taking responsibility in all aspects of my life. I break this down into three topics that I think personally are important to me. First is finances. In the Philippines, not a lot of people have credit cards. We are still cash-based country there are people that were able to get credit cards but mo most of the people use cash so when i moved here i have zero knowledge about credit cards with the help of my husband i'm able to understand little by little how credit card works it took me a while to actually get in the groove of getting to know how credit card works in this country like understanding your statement date your due date your interest rate and all that stuff and right now i feel like i am able to fully understand how credit card debit card all that stuff work but at the same time there's still more stuff to learn so the second part my emotions so the way i took responsibility of my emotion is to always remember to not take things personally in the book the four agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz Jr. He talked about um, not taking things personally and I think that's like the second agreement. It says in the book that you should not take things personally because if you take things personally that means you agree with what the other person is saying about you. Like for example if you if a stranger or someone in a family a friend says that Oh, you're too fat. You look like you're gaining weight. You might get hurt or might be offended, but deep inside you got hurt and offended because consciously or subconsciously you think that is true. You agree to what that person is saying. You agree that, yeah, I'm actually kind of like gaining weight. Also, I think personally what other people says about you reflect their own personal internal struggle so it's not about you it's really about them another thing about how i took responsibility of my emotion is i gave myself some time to react i delay my reaction this helped me when i try to parent my child and he's having a meltdown or he's having a, a tantrum for example if he would want some I don't know juice and he's been have drinking juice the whole day he would yell and he would scream and he you know taught he would do toddler things what I do is I would take a step back I would probably breathe in breathe out take deep breaths uh, count from one to five seconds and then react I try to practice that in my parenting with my child and it helped me significantly because I don't know who I heard this saying from. I think it's Brene Brown when she said that you cannot help someone that's un inside the hole if you jump in the hole with them. You have to stay like on the top of the hole and reach your hand under to actually lift them out of the hole. And that stuck with me. And I feel like you can use that in all aspects of your life when you're at work and your customers are being mean in your marriage or when your partner says some disagreeable stuff, delay your reaction, take deep breaths, and then respond. When a family member, um, you know, your boss, delayed reaction always work for me at least. The third and the last one is health. Back in the Philippines, I always have, you know, my elder m making sure to remind me that, hey, go take your vitamins. Hey, did you drink enough water today? Hey, you should have eight hours sleep. Hey, you've been on your phone for like five hours now. Stop scrolling and go take a break. Here, I don't have anyone. Well, I have my husband, but at the same time, we're both, uh, we're both adult. We need to watch each other's back, but at the same time, we also need to take responsibility for our own actions. Here, I try to keep in mind because I don't have my Lola. I don't have my grandma. My mom passed away. I'm totally away from my family. There's no no choice for me but to grow up and be a responsible adult. And now that I'm a mother too, I also that that's more of a reason for me to actually take responsibility and eat healthy. I'm not going to sit here and try to act fake because at the, at the same time, you guys know and I know that there are days that I like, you know, to order takeout, we would eat in a restaurant 
we would there are some stuff that you know we do or I allow myself to do just so I won't feel too like restricted so yeah now that I'm a mother it's more reason for me to watch my health because I want to um, you know be there for my son when he needs me it's challenging to eat healthy here to eat whole foods here because of all the other options that Americans have it's almost as if it takes discipline to actually eat whole foods the fact that I'm choosing to drink water even though there's another option in the fridge which is like orange juice apple juice lemonade makes me a responsible adult because I know that water is essential for my body or the fact that I'm choosing to cook meal even though ordering takeout is just a phone call away. And it's just getting harder and harder because all these companies are thinking of new ways to actually, you know, hook you up to this new thing going on just to use their services like DoorDash or like, I don't know, Postmate or just to go to their restaurant and actually buy their food instead of you cooking your own food. I also would like to add that my husband plays a big role in my diet here in America because when I came here, I don't really know how people eat here. I don't know that some people, you know, likes to eat microwavable foods, some like whole foods. I never even heard about whole foods until I got here and what it means. In the Philippines, we eat whole foods every day because like I said, not a lot of family have microwave in the Philippines. My first couple of years here is more of like setting the foundation of how my diet and my husband's diet's gonna be if you if for example your wife just migrated from philippines to here and you introduce her to all this microwavable food this is how we grocery shop um this is my favorite brand of sausage or whatever unconsciously she's gonna adapt that you know moving forward with her new life here in america so consciously and subconsciously the first two years of you living in another country you're setting the foundation for your life moving forward in that new country and that's what happens with us when I moved here we rarely eat out we eat when we when we have time to go out and eat but we mostly cook our own food in the house and that contributed to our diet that is all I have for you guys today I still have two topics that I need to go through but I need to write the script because I want to be able to share what's really in my mind and take time to actually you know think about what I wanted to say so watch out for that so yeah that is all for this video you guys thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one bye